Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you a little neat plugin for Safari that lets you block Flash content but also view certain videos on the internet without using Flash at all, using a custom HTML5 player. So this is really good for YouTube if you want to watch a YouTube video without using Flash or without watching an ad, or you even want to download a YouTube video, something like that, it'll do that for you as well. And this way you won't have to watch tons of ads on every site unless you want to. So it's really simple to install and it's pretty easy to use. And the first step is there will be a link in the description. So just go ahead and click on that link um, and it'll take you somewhere like this. Now we want to set up click to flash. So click on the download click to flash link right here. Um, now. Click the plugin is basically something where you just click a plugin and it'll turn on the plugin. Click the flash is specifically for flash. Um, so I prefer click the flash, especially because it comes with their custom HTML5 player and all that other nice stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open the click the flash plugin that just downloaded to my desktop. Okay. And I'll go ahead and tap on open and install. Now it'll take you to this new tab in Safari where you'll see the click to flash preferences. Most of the time you won't want to change any of these, etc. So we'll go ahead and you can just have a look through that or close the tab if you don't care. All right, now we'll test this by going to youtube.com and I guess we'll go to our channel, MacHeads101. And you'll see right here the main place where the video would be on the channel there's a little HTML5 box right above it. So if we click on this, it'll set up their custom HTML5 player. I'll hit the play button and it'll start playing. And this is completely HTML5. There's no flash involved. You can even go full screen, change the volume. Everything works. And I'll pause it for a second. The coolest feature with this is, in my opinion, that you can right click and hit download video and it'll download the YouTube video right to your computer. Um, so that's pretty useful. Now let's say you want to view this in Flash. For some reason you want the Flash player back on this specific video. You don't want to make this a default setting. Just this one time you want the Flash player. You right click on the video and you click Restore Flash. Alright, and it'll take maybe 10 or 15 seconds. But it'll come back and now here's the original Flash version of the video. It's YouTube's player right here. Um, most of the time for YouTube videos, you can just watch the video with the HTML5 player. You won't need to go to the Flash version for any reason, unless maybe you want annotations or something like that. Um, so another cool thing about this is it's not just videos. You can see right here there would usually be an ad right here on YouTube's little panel right here. Now if you click on the ad, it'll load up the ad and you'll see the ad right there. Um, but if we if we hadn't clicked on the ad, essentially any website you go to that uses Flash for ads, you won't have to see the ads unless you click on the ad. Um, and let's see if they have a feature. I guess once you enable the ad, you can't get rid of it. But anyway, so that is basically how to use click the plugin. Now let's say you want to go in and change the setting and click the plugin or whatever, and you're not familiar with how Safari extensions already works. Um, you just go up to the Safari menu, go down to Preferences, go across to Extensions, hit on Click to Flash. You can check this. If you just click this checkbox, it'll bring up the uh, Click to Flash Preferences. And you can uncheck this to disable Click to Flash. And if you just want to get rid of it, you can hit Uninstall and you'll be able to uninstall it. So that is basically Click to Flash. Uh, it's very simple to use, very easy to install. I just thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, it is Safari only um, because it's a Safari extension, obviously. Uh, but it's really it it makes it makes using Safari worth it. Even if you're used to using another browser, I'm telling you, this is really it's a great thing to have. It just makes the web experience so much faster, so much cleaner. But anyway. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and goodbye.